don't forget to like, subscribe and share if you are really happy with the content. In this following video, if you are struggling to choose between a German Shepherd also known as GSD and a Siberian Husky, we've compiled all the detailed information you need to know to help you make the best choice. So let's compare these two attractive dogs which are often misunderstood by the media and the general population, whether tolerant. The Huskies have a thick coat and can only live in the cold weather, after all. They are from Siberian Peninsula where the temperature can even go down to minus 60 degrees Celsius. The hot and humid climate of India can create health issues in them. However the dilemma is many people includes famous YouTubers promote their living in Indian climate without an AC, making it an Indian Husky rather than this famously known Siberian Husky, which is very sad. In our opinion Huskies don't adapt well to hot climate. However, the German Shepherds can tolerate hot and to a great extent and cold weather too. So one point to GSD, German Shepherd 1 Siberian Husky 0. Intimidation Factor An adult male German Shepherd stands at a height of 60 to 65 centimeters at the withers, and weighs between 30 to 40 kilograms. They are a medium to large sized dog with a long, dark muzzle scary eyes and large pointed ears, while an adult male Siberian Husky stands at a height of 53 to 61 centimeters at the withers, and weighs between 20 to 27 kilograms. They are very attractive dogs known for their wolf-like look and intense eyes. The Husky is more compact than the German Shepherd, with a more proportionately shaped body. However the German Shepherd is the larger of the two breeds and are quite intimidating to look at as compared to Siberian Husky. So one point to GSD. German Shepherd 2 Siberian Husky 0, powerful and loudest bar, let's hear it first and we'll decide accordingly. In our opinion the German Shepherd has a powerful bark, so one point to GSD, German Shepherd 3 Siberian Husky 0, by 4. Among the two, the Siberian Husky is actually the most powerful and its pressure bite top 320 psi while that of German Shepherd measured 238 psi. So one point to Husky, German Shepherd 3 Siberian Husky 1, temperament and watchdog ability. Both the breeds are very intelligent, strong, active and make extremely loyal pets. German Shepherd aren't typically overly friendly when they first meet someone and they don't naturally warm quickly to strangers. This aloofness to new people makes them excellent watchdogs. By contrast, Siberian Huskies don't generally make good watchdogs. They may look intimidating with their wolf-like features. But the breed is very friendly. So one point to GSD, German Shepherd for Siberian Husky 1, Intelligence and Trainability. Both German Shepherd and the Husky are intelligent breeds who are eager to please and enjoy family life. German Shepherds if well handled, they excel at all the canine sporting activities which includes agility and obedience. But they can also be seen working as rescue dogs tracking dogs and helping the police and other authorities in their work. However, the Husky is an independent thinker. They tends to only follow commands which they sees the benefit in, so they demands patience and can be challenging to drain. So one point to GSD, German Shepherd 5 Siberian Husky 1, Lifespan. The average life expectancy of a German Shepherd is between 10, 13 years and that of Husky is in between 12 to 14 years, sometimes longer when properly cared for, and fed an appropriate good quality diet to suit their ages. When comparing the health of these two breeds, the Husky is the healthiest, so one point to Husky, German Shepherd 5 Siberian Husky 2, Grooming. Both breeds have double coats and a lot of fur to protect them in cold climates. German Shepherds shed so much they have the nickname the German Shedder. 
The breed sheds all year round so if you have this dog, be prepared to vacuum a lot and have your clothes covered in hair. Huskies are a fairly clean breed and like to clean themselves. They don't need too much grooming either, just a lot of brushing. So one point to Husky, German Shepherd 5 Siberian Husky 3. Exercise. The Husky and the German Shepherd are active breeds who need lots of exercise and mental stimulation to stay healthy and happy. They ideally need to be taken out for a walk, a minimum of twice a day for a good hour each time. However, they also need to be given a tremendous amount of mental stimulation, and preferably one that involves playing interactive games with a dog. The Siberian Husky is a bit more energetic than the German Shepherd. So one point to Husky, German Shepherd 5 Siberian Husky 4. Good choice for first time owners. Both the dogs are highly intelligent breeds. They are better suited to people who are familiar with their needs and who has enough time to dedicate to training their dogs. As such they are not a good choice for first time dog owners. So one point to both, German Shepherd 6 Siberian Husky 5, Children and Other Pets. Both the breeds are known to be good around children of all ages, because they are so calm and patient, more especially if they are well bred, even tempered dogs. Also, both the breeds are known to be good around other pets and dogs, rarely showing any aggressive behavior towards them. However as per the website, psychologytoday.com, German Shepherds were ranked at number 2 and seen as the greatest risk of harming children after Pitbull followed by Jack Russell Terriers and Rottweilers. So one point to Husky, German Shepherd 6 Siberian Husky 6. So here we have a tie between the two. In our opinion in today's fight both are the winners here. 